good afternoon students today i am going to discuss about the concept of pointer to an array i have already discussed about the we can how we can discuss array in uh, pointer the previous chapter you have seen that how we can discuss uh, can represent an array element using pointer this all which we have discussed that is it is all at the array you can see this all at the pointer of array that is add an array which is holding the uh, different type of integer float or different type of character pointers okay it is a pointer of array now from uh, today i am going to discuss about how we can uh, point it a whole array till now we have discussed individual individual element or individual individual uh, variables using array now uh, sorry individual element using pointer now i am going to discuss how we can uh, show a pointer is indicating a whole array see what if, uh, it is written that we can also treat an array as a whole as an array type data in that case we can also have a pointer to an array type data just as we can have a pointer to an int float etc type data such a pointer can be used to point to an array as a whole can be declared as int star pa 10 because this pointer pa is pointing a ho an whole integer array this is not a an array with multiple pointer okay previous what we have learned in this case this declaration means int array 5 in case of this declaration you can see wait this declaration here star error 4 that means an array which is holding uh, multiple type multiple uh, integer type of pointers but in this declaration this is an array or uh, this is a pointer pa which is indicating a whole array okay a whole array this is not a array with multiple pointer this is a pointer which is indicating a whole integer array maybe the name of the array is m b c x y z anything but pa here is pa is a pointer which is indicating a whole array okay now see star pa indicate that is not an array of pointer the pair of bracket enclosing the pointer name star pa indicates that it is not an array of pointers but a pointer to an array the square brackets ensure that the data we are dealing with it is, is an array and the numeric value Ten within the square bracket indicate that the array to which the pointer points contain ten element. The declaration meaning it is an integer type of array we are declaring. The array is uh, containing ten integer value and p a is a pointer which is indicating the whole integer array which is named something. Now considering this pro pro program or the problem. See int mat 3 4 that is a two dimensional array where three row four column mat is the name of the array and the array is containing integer value these are the values of the array now star pa pa is the pointer which is indicating this mat array see pa equal to mat last day i have discussed how we can declare how uh, a pointer can uh, declare mat uh, sorry declare uh, or indicate an array like this way we can uh, show that a pointer is indicating an array okay p a equal to mat now we are taking input uh, i equal to 0 to 3 because there is a 3 row 0 to 3 i plus plus we are only dealing with the rows concept or code row condition value so printf address of mat percentage d 0 you can see we are uh, uh, there is a zero inside the subscript or inside the third brackets 
so zero percentage u for the index value m percent of mat of i zero we know percentage u means we are trying to show the address value of i through zeroth column okay so see the output i through zero row zero column output uh, address value is six five five zero zero where the value of percentage the percentage u that is i p a plus i what is the uh, p a plus i means p a means the in index the initial index the zero i means the in uh, increment value if i am saying i want to show the fifth index value that means 0 plus 5 i if i value is 0 uh, 2 then 0 plus 2 it will show the uh, second index value or twith, twith in uh, second index value uh, that is second index values address that is 65500 0, 0. now it will rotate i am considering the zeroth column but the row value will change so zero row zero column address is six five five zero zero one row zero column six five five zero eight address of row one is six five five zero eight row two zero column six five five one six address of row two is six five five one six so that means the whole thing each and every time the loop will increment its value by row wise that's why the value of row is changing but the value of column is stable but each and every time the row will change so accordingly the loop it will change the address of row like this is an example this is a row zero row zero one row second row so first row second row zero rows this one row is this and uh, second row is this so it will show the starting address of the first because we know in case of array the initial address is enough because the next address is obviously we can calculate because uh, based on the data type of the array so accordingly that see this diagram here it is a mat 0 0 that means the mat array 0 through 0 column first element this is a first element or the first index value that is 65500 next second is 65502 after as it there is four column because three row four columns so four element is stored next mat one zero that means mat arrays first row second uh, zeroth column four data because four column now second row zeroth column four value so each and every time see zero row zero column uh, address is display address is displaying here one row zero column addressing address is displaying here and second row zero column address is displaying here actually this is the program which is showing us how we can use and po a pointer to indicating a, a whole array a whole array how we can indicate uh, a whole array using the pointer and how it looks like okay you can see this is a address calculation the total memory value is calculations over here that is a zero row p plus zero means the zero row of array that the concept this is the concept is displaying here that is the p a plus i that is p plus 0 that is the 0 row. p plus 1 means first row, first row of the array p plus 2 is second array so this is the array p plus 0 means first array p plus 1 means second array p plus 2 is second third array so accordingly that we will calculate the uh, each time the memory space how much the memory space it is it is holding okay so this is the basic concept how we can implement a pointer to indicate a whole array i hope it will help you to understand the concept if you have till any query regarding this we will discuss about it on our next class thank you